Oh my goodness, we all got on the right team. All the players loaded into the lobby. We're going at it live. It is Elevate with a 2-0 lead over Orbit. Game two though, went to round 11, went down to the wire. Orbit blowing a 5-4 advantage. Now we'll see though, can they put up a big win and uplink off the break, dropping three straight players. Elevate's on the satellite drone first. And this will be Elevate on strong side first. They got to work these one pointers, try to get a rally going if they can. The melee is going to come in from Happy. He's able to pick up the kill, toss that back to spawn. Good defensive stand there in blue for Orbit. As having three down there, I thought Elevate would at least get one point on the board here early. Yeah, that was actually really big. He was the only one left alive after the initial fight. Hit in blue, waited for that drone carrier, hit it with a melee, and then just chucked it for yards. So now you look at the mini map. And it's Orbit again causing problems over here at Blue. This time it's Faceno with a nice two-piece. His teammates putting pressure over at Purple. It looks like Orbit may be the first one to actually attack with this drone. As I say it, it looks like there's only one man left alive, and that's going to become none as Elevate clears house. No movement on the drone yet, though. Saints was 7-1 and one with the drone there before falling. He's got more than basically every player on his team combined and the other team. He's been crushing so far. Had the drone again for a second, not able to push it forward yet. They get that kill on TCM, who is looking to probably toss that for some yards. And now, TJ Haley, going to try and get forward. They pick up the kill around blue this time. They're going to be able to take out Happy. He's stunned up, though. Can they get another kill? That's Slack that picks up the kill in blue. TJ is trying to get forward, waiting for his team to provide some help. Uh -oh. He drops right in the face of Vicento. Vicento gets one, gets two, but not able to close it out as the drone's going to fall right to Slack. He is going to put the drunk, uh, the dunk through here. They have an early advantage. This has been a really weird game. Lots of pressure on blue throughout the first two minutes. And you're going to see more fights going down here as Elevate clears house. All four down. Last man standing is going to be pushing from green. And it looks like that's going to be happy trying to rotate into position after watching accuracy fall. TCM has gone to the middle. Big kill there, but the drone has gotten past. Classic's going to jump it through. A 4-0 start, and we go over to Slack, who's on a two spree, keeping control of the drone. He's going to go right back for it. As you see, the mini-map, good contain so far from Elevate. They're not letting anyone flank yeah. behind. Exactly. I mean, you, <laughs> you nailed it on the head. <laughs> You said there's been so much time and pressure on Blue. The more time spent at Blue, the better it is for Elevate. That means they are putting on the pressure. They are pushing hard against Orbit. The more time it's in purple, you think Orbit's holding better. But right now, yeah, it's been all Elevate. They've had pretty much everything controlled around Blue up into this point. Now you can see the pressure coming towards purple as Orbit's trying to make a push. TJ, nice movement there, is going to come in behind. Can't stop the drone carrier, so that's going to be accuracy. He's going to get forward. He's a player we've seen struggle with the one-point shots throughout the league. He's going to have an opportunity here. He decides not to go for the toss. That's going to leave it classic. I thought he was going to go ahead and reset this, but they're going to wrap it here through orange. Is he just holding this to wait for the reset? I'm not sure. Yeah, what right the now there's Faceno in the way. That's what he's waiting yeah. to see, and he's just going to toss that off now. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna push that, typically, if you're gonna try and wrap that green, it's you hit it hard and you hit it quick. As soon as you get the interception, as soon as you pick up the kill, not usually delayed like that. It's a little too risky. Wisely, we'll reset and uh, just take a look across the KDs. Pretty much everyone getting in on the action right now for Elevate Saints leading the way. He's 14 and seven again. He started out seven and one, so he's been hot pretty much on the rip. TJ gonna go for the one point toss, and I think that came out just a little bit short. And unfortunately for him. That is going to bounce off. Actually, that probably works out, because if that stays on the map, that might provide an opportunity there for Orbit to wrap. Right. Made sure there was no fast break potential. Look at Classic behind enemy lines. is going to have three players to shoot at. First one was on drone. The other two inside and top purple. He's going to spot the shoulder from Happy. Just try and hide for a moment. As the last man standing, he knows he's got to stop this OBJ from moving. Can't drop it. And the ball carrier, TCM, is going to get around the corner. This should be points. See if he's able to fire it through. He should be home free. There it is. Going to get it through. They're only down two. 30 seconds left to go. And as strong as Elevate looked, as much control as they had, that little lapse there that applies two points, I mean, really, their lead is nothing. I mean, they had strong side. They're up two. That's completely insignificant. And there's potential here for a possible one-point play with 15 seconds left. He's going to get cut down, though. Not able to fire any additional kills too. 
And this, of course, is going to be Orbit's host. They had host in game number one. Oh my Fell God. short there. Uh-oh. The bounce and no clear finally going to get off the map as we will enter the second side. 4-2 in favor of Elevate. But not as pretty as they wanted it to be here from side number one. Uh, that was a centimeter for being a tie game going into the second half. I didn't think they were really going to have a good opportunity for one. They cut down a player going for a dunk that was right at the goal line. Now we'll see how Elevate decides to play this. I'm a fan of you know, trying to control as much as you can, but kind of waiting for that air and wrapping green on this side. I want to see how they like to play it. See everyone flying top rail and at purple. The first engagement's going to come in. Slack's going to get one. Pacinto's going to answer back. Saint's going to pick up one as well. Two down for either side. No one really able to get drone control yet. And we're just looking at third person over top of the whole mess. You see Slack is trying to hold that front door till Faceno comes charging through. Faceno's host, and he's been using it pretty well. Saints still up, though, finally going to be cleared out. And now you can see TCM go for the objective. He's going to get dropped, it looks like. In fact, he will survive the first grenade and the second stun. So surviving for a minute, but he's tagged up, and they know exactly where he's at. Couple kills coming in around blue, Chris. They were able to try and chase him down there. They're gonna be able to pick up the player covering drone. Happy is top purple. He saw Saints backside of blue. He might be able to get that one, but I guess he got a call if there was a player top rail because he's gonna get that. Also tag up Saints a bit. They've got to get rid of this player happy. You know, if you're elevate, you can't deal with someone just sitting there top purple and having their way with the drone spawn. It's too hard. You don't have as good of a fight from blue when you're trying to find out a door or window. Got to attempt to clear him out. 3.45 left. No score here yet in this second side. This has been a much less high-scoring affair than we saw earlier today. Absolutely. You can see the drone is going to be picked up. Slack missed it on his first grab. Now he's getting tagged. Has to go for the one-point instead of two-point play. We'll find out how costly that mistake was. But for now, a three-point advantage for Elevate. 21 and 14. Saints continues to impress. He's going to fall over at the drone spawn, though. TJ's got to cover it, otherwise Orbit's coming in hot. Yeah, that's the big thing, is just keeping somebody alive around that drone spawn, around purple, not allow them to get that drone and push through into blue. TCM, though, is up on top rails. He's pushing past the drone spawn. He's going to get picked off. The players in purple just providing enough of a harassment for Elevate that Orbit's not really been able to get much control, much movement forward with the drone, but that's Facento coming up big. is gonna get two. This is their opportunity to try and push forward. There's one player on the flank coming through bio. Who is that that's in behind? That's Slack. He's gonna disrupt anything they're trying to do. He gets the player that was trying to push forward and lead the drone carrier. Nothing yet. I mean, Orbit hasn't really been able to do anything, Chris. They haven't had defensive presence at all on strong side. Accuracy doing some damage from down low. If he goes for the satellite, he's gonna get Acid in his face as you saw the splash coming in slowed down a little bit, but now he's on the move one point throw is open He's got a teammate right underneath the goal for a missed put back and we'll see that one's gonna sink And now a one possession game. They still got to go for a dunk though two minutes ten seconds still to work with Elevate though did a good job of getting those kills and pushing out as quickly as possible They got to the drone spawn so fast. They were able to win some key gunfights now everything kind of getting traded right now. Accuracy and Pacento able to pick up some, and now it's actually going to be them pushing forward yet again. They've got two minutes left to work with. The potential here for at least a one-point play. Drone in Pacento's hands. He's going to get dropped, though, top rails. That's going to end up falling to Classic and Crew, and now they can get forward. Let's see how they decide to play this. They can actually, well, I thought they were going to try and push up ice. They're going to wrap this through their own goal and go green with it. I don't think Orbit Connects. was ready for that whatsoever. <laughs> and they're gonna get one with it. I've never seen it wrap from that far back. Usually you see it wrap yeah. you know, by a missed shot if it's by the goal and you can do it quick. That that was one of the longer green wraps I've seen. And I could tell there was just perfect communication going on right there. Classic went to challenge on ice, spotted a player, immediately slacked, runs into green, able to dish it in for one. Now you just see him tacking on points as TJ Howie throws up another Hail Mary that connects. Over to Classic, who's defending at purple. Things just got ugly for Orbit. They're down two games, a minute left, down two dunks. Uh, yeah, this I, I'm not really sure how you're going to pull this off, especially since all you've got is one-point play. You haven't been even close to really working any kind of dunk rally. 
on this side if you're Orbit, and the ball's in the hands of TJ. He's Done. moving forward. He's got a free dunk right now if he flies through, and that's it. That's going to make it 9-3, up 6, 30 to go. The brooms are out. Sweep coming in here for Elevate. Well, we weren't wrong on our Orbit prediction. We thought Elevate would come in here and be able to kind of control this match coming into this series. Orbit was the higher seed. Elevate, not off to the best start in the Pro League, but you're, they're showing some potential now. I really love that they brought TJ Halley back onto this roster. I feel like he was definitely a missing link. You want bronze with him this year. Looking very strong in some of the other recent tournaments. He leaves the team or you, or you make room, get rid of him off the squad for apathy. Now he's back and they're starting to win again. Oh uh, yeah, again, I, I know I've said it a couple times, but you knew, I, I think I was the biggest fan of the casters. Uh, of Elevate going into the most recent LAN event. I thought they were going to perform really well. I think I had them pick like third. I think that highly of this roster. I think they can do a lot, uh, especially with the inclusion of TJ. They've been underperforming in the league. They've been underperforming on LAN. I, I think it's going to come together over the coming months for them. As long as they keep this roster, I think they can do a lot of big things. All right, let's take a look at our top performers here from game number three, Saints. Again, 34 kills. Just 21 deaths this time. He was positive every single game. Saints is an incredible player, an incredible human being. I sort of look at him like a brother, Chris. Like a little brother, big brother? Just a brother of equal age and handsomeness. All right, we're going to take a peek at our Vulcan.com scoreboard as well, guys, keeping track of the numbers throughout the night. Octane dropped some serious numbers for Envy in the few games he was around. 193 is his score on the evening. Nameless, 155. Pretty strong performance from TK. Looking over at the other caster, uh, you see it's going to be pretty even split here. Zoom at the top. Octane there with a 154. Pretty good games out of both of those players. Facento, awful pick. TJ, <laughs> not the best pick. Just 65 points, 67 points from Slacked as well. We'll find out if those totals will update after the game. But so far, I'm hoping Ben's tush today, guys. It feels good. Burr. Burr. On Vulcan.com. We come back from commercial, though. We got our final match of the night. Isolation takes on Optic Nation, number four, versus a card two team. ISO has their work cut out for them tonight. We'll be right back.